Y'all know I had to do it. Um, hit up Starbucks early this morning to get my favorite, my oat milk apple crisp macchiato. And it's like 8 a.m. So I got lots of work to do today. So let's get it. Officially, I'm gonna see if I can book um, chemical peel today to get a VI peel. It's been about a month since my last one, so I need to get rid of my acne that I have going on. Honestly, I think it's because I've been eating so much processed sugar and stress. So I'm gonna work on that this week. And I just saw a beautiful Jeep, white with like black rims. I just realized like how bad Jeeps really are, and then I realized, girl, you're in one. That's the epiphany I needed today. So, good morning. Be thankful for the things that you have. And the message of this video is be thankful for what you prayed for and the fact that it's here for you right now. Isn't that amazing? I managed to get an appointment today at 10.30. Drove an hour to get here. Like, I was pushing the whip. So, before I go in, I just want to show you guys how much I'm breaking right now. Um... They kind of hurt. I don't know what's going on. I think it's honestly the amount of processed sugar and I need to limit how much I'm having. I want to say like 50 grams max. So I've been eating a lot of processed foods, specifically Oreos. I've been going to Starbucks every single day. Um, sugary things like I made s'mores dip, like just a lot of stuff like that that's not natural sugar compared to honey or agave nectar or maple syrup like those are sweeteners that i personally prefer to reach for fruits stuff like that that's natural because my skin is like girl what are you doing to me last one i had you guys saw in a vlog and it actually got rid of a lot of my texture but i have a lot of congestion here in my like t-zone area and this is natural lighting by the way so you could see i have like this one hurts this one hurts breakouts along like my well, that's a scar. This is like pigmentation, this right here. So I'm hoping to get some fading going on. This is pigmentation. That's pigmentation. So really this right here, this area, this side is the worst. Oh my God, y'all see my jawline? Oh my God, y'all see this? Ow. So I really want to get something to just kill all that active acne and then peel off the congestion, the clogged skin, all the excess oil that is clogging my pores. I have some blackheads I was noticing yesterday and I was like, oh no, baby, we need to look at peel ASAP Rocky. So I managed to get a Groupon and I called this morning and it's the same place. So I read everything. I read the fine print. There was no restrictions on whatever I paid. It was like $149 versus um 109 they had for new customers so girl i ain't gonna manifest no issues today and i think it's just the original vi peel i don't think i can get the higher one that's more intense i might ask it's 200 dollars, so maybe i can pay the difference but because i booked it on groupon i don't know if they'll let me do that i'll probably have to schedule with them it's just so confusing like don't offer this service on groupon if you're gonna give people issues because she was telling me on the phone this morning that's for new customers i said i read the fine print and it, it said no restrictions she said well come in and we'll see if we can honor it otherwise you're gonna have to do a refund i said ma'am it already came out of my bank account i don't know about that so let's go in and get this skin under control and see if we can clear it up in five days because I need to manifest that. We need to get our, our diet in check. I need to start eating whole foods. And speaking of whole foods, I want to see if there is a whole foods over here. I'm in Fairfax. Um, so I think there's a really nice whole foods, judging by Yelp reviews, like a huge location. Like I have not been able to find my vegan croissants that I used to eat all the time in LA. Like, oh, I would love to get me some of those. Get some kale, some vegan um croutons i'm really craving like a chicken caesar salad so i kind of want to make that like just basically focusing on eating whole vegetables raw veggies getting in fruits i don't really eat fruits and i want to incorporate more like antioxidant rich foods like blueberries and raspberries making sure i have citrus in my body to help with my inflammation like really just cleaning up everything and starting fresh Bam, guys, that was like, I don't know, 10 minutes. 
my aftercare. You guys already know about this. If you watched my initial video, I'm going to head out and see if I can find um, a Whole Foods or something in the area. Swear, swear, swear. This lady did a way better job than the first lady. They were giving me heck in there. I was really out there like, well, what's the difference if the rate is the same? She's like, ma'am. <laughs> she said the difference is Groupon takes half. Okay, I understand. Then she was really like, you need to cooperate with us. I was like, okay, y'all. Don't get mad at me. Y'all put the Groupon out there. Y'all put the Groupon out there. Y'all need to delete it then if you don't want the people to utilize it. But she really went in. I remember being so rushed the first time. She was like actually putting in some elbow grease when she was rubbing the acid on my face. So in four hours, I need to follow up with the aftercare. It's 10.13, so that took literally 10 minutes, you guys. Which is not bad. So I'm gonna find a Whole Foods. I think there's a Trader Joe's 15 minutes away. By the way, I got the original, and they didn't honor, um, like if I would have paid the difference, they said, no, you can't because they're taking half of the money, so it wouldn't really benefit them. So after this, next month, so October, I'm going to do the aggressive one. I mean, I noticed a difference for sure when I did the original, so I mean, I'm expecting to see a difference. Um, I'm just going to map a Whole Foods. Oh my god, there's literally one half a mile from here. Perfect. So, let me go there, and then I'll probably map a Trader Joe's. Three minutes away. How convenient is this day? I'm craving, like, kale and, like, my dairy alternatives that I can't find anywhere else. So, I'll see you guys. I'm looking very tomato-y. She really hit the jawline too. She said make sure you do the jawline, which the first lady didn't do. So I'm excited. Self-care guys, it's important. <sighs> I'm out here sweating. Every time she trying to leave, some keep putting me back, me back. That's what I've been listening to my 2000 AF playlist today. So <laughs> the vibes. See some um, frosting on my face. Super red compared to what I normally look like, but it's gonna get ugly before it gets cute, okay? <laughs> Judging by this, Traders, by the way, I came to Falls Church. I'm not even mad. It was the quickest drive from the Whole Foods. I think it's pumpkin season because they have pumpkins on their window. Y'all see these decals? I'm going to go cop some pumpkin goodies in addition to my regular grocery stuff. And we'll see how this goes. <laughs>
from the grocery store. I'm gonna give you guys um Whole Foods haul. I got a bunch of curly kale. I'm gonna use this for lunch today. You kind of saw already in the store, but I got my vegan croissants. So I'll make a breakfast option with this and it was so worth driving two hours, one hour each way to go get my favorite things that I just can't find at other Whole Foods that I went to. These are my favorite incense. They are posted on my Amazon store. They didn't have the best variety today, but I got the eucalyptus and then the lavender. They just burn so nice. So that'll be nice for meditation. I got the last bag of these dairy-free croutons, just the seasoned ones. I'm gonna do a kale Caesar salad. And then my favorite dressing is this brand, you guys, the Follow Your Heart Caesar. They do a really good ranch as well. So this is just nice to have on hand for my meals this week. And I think they changed the label because I almost walked by it and didn't even recognize it at the store. I also picked up two of these Olipops. These are the last two in my favorite flavor, the Vintage Cola. This is just a great like fiber source. It tastes really good, and honestly, I crave the taste of these. I haven't tried the root beer one yet, so let me know if you guys like it and if you recommend that flavor, because I'll definitely try it out the next time that I'm at the store. Um, but for fiber content, it has nine grams, and it's just so good to not be bloated if you're eating a lot of foods, and it just helps with your digestion. <coughs> So I got those, some chicken nuggets, <laughs> gotta have those. And then my favorite soups, I miss going to Whole Foods because of this, like these, I can get like two meals out of them. Um, this is very alkalining for your body, just peas in general. So I got the split pea soup. And one of my favorites is the chicken tortilla. I think these are great to just stock up in your fridge because these last a whole month so this doesn't go off until october so this is just nice to have when you just don't know what you want to eat and then from trader joe's the girl said at that location by the way it was like the prettiest trader joe's i've been able to find in the dmv in Falls church she said that they have some stuff like the body care pumpkin related things um what did i spend 52 dollars but most of it will be coming in store next week so this is not my official fall haul from traders but i always like getting these in the fall time something about having sweet potato just sounds very fall-esque so these are their tortilla chips and i have some salsa that i got from traders last week that i'll use for this and these have a nice bit of lime so if you like citrus oh try those out for the puppies, I saw that they had their fall treats out. So I've never seen these in previous years. So maybe it's new, but it's a pumpkin maple bacon flavored dog treat. And how amazing does that sound? And it's just the packaging for me. So I think the pups will really enjoy this. And here's the back. This is just like the ingredients list. It's not too crazy compared to some treats that I've seen at other like stores and stuff. So they're like pretty pretty soft hard consistency not too hard i don't know if that made sense i snagged this you guys saw i did a little mini shop with me this pizza is like a, an addiction honestly it's so good and then for some reason fall time i start craving meatballs i think because of football season my dad always does like crock pot meatballs with like barbecue sauce um but i thought these would be good to do that way um but also putting them in just a simple marinara and spaghetti dish so these are like the uh, party size and they are one of the only meatballs that traders does that's dairy free so i got a pack of those and then for my kale salads i've been liking this chicken it's just plain grilled Probably won't even have to heat it up. So I got two of those for this week. And then finally snagged another pizza because I just, uh, I have to have at least two a week. They're so addicting. Also for fall time, I start craving apples. I think it's apple season right now. And I used to get the Envy apples all the time. So I think this will be a really good snack to have like fresh fruit in my diet again, um, hydrate the body and then have this with some pumpkin seed butter. So I got two of those just to have. And then I saw these, these were on the new shelf, you guys. You guys know I love the sunflower butter cups and I saw that they came out with these sunflower butter cookies made with the roasted sunflower seed 
um, spread. It's vegan, gluten-free, free of wheat, milk, peanuts, tree nuts, eggs, soy, and sesame. And I couldn't believe I saw this on the shelf, you guys. Like, oh my gosh, this just sounds like fall vibes. <laughs> As I was talking about cutting out sugar, this has three grams of protein, 11 grams of sugar for two cookies, 130 calories. So I think for my tea time, this might be a good option to reach for something for myself and then i also snagged another one of these mediterranean style hummus snack packs that comes with um, a perfectly portioned out hummus some pitas and then this location had these i've never ever ever seen these before so this is similar it's a garlic hummus with pretzel slims so little mini pretzels Ooh. and then some hummus like how perfect is this for snack time and this one has how much protein five grams um for each one which is not bad this one has nine grams so i really like the idea of that and then i needed to get some brown rice just for my um meals and stuff like that that's literally everything i got you guys from traders and whole foods super quick haul i'm a little upset i thought i was gonna get more pumpkin stuff so i will be back maybe two weeks or so when they have everything i'm really trying to find the maple popcorn so if you guys can keep your eye out at your store let me know slide in my dms on instagram that they have them but i'm gonna give the pups these it's just oh, so cute please go get these for your furry friends